hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Hi, guys. We're going to be playing in the Twitch Blood Bowl League. We're going to be playing um, a really, really big team value gap because I am 1540 and um, Sky Blue Monty's halflings are 960. Now, um, halflings do pretty well with inducements and I have an 11 player team. So let's have a closer look at the teams for a moment before we dive straight into the match. Last game, we got two really, really good skill ups and they're also really good skill ups for this matchup because we got Tackle on the Faulted User, our Muddy Low Piling On Killer, and we got Block on Liger, our Proxy Gore. So that is very, very useful. Um, we also have a Strength Wrestle Frenzy, who's got minus movement uh, on a Blitzer. We have a Wrestle, we have a Rookie Blitzer. We have movement and dodge on a Catcher. I think the dodge is also new. We have a Guard, a Kick and a plus of Jelly Lyman. Only 10 players, so our team value is actually 1600. Looking over at Sky Blue Monty's team, he's got two Treemen. He's got a sidestep jump up halfling. He's got uh, two sure feats, I believe, yes. Two sure feet, 14 players, and only 960 team value. Last time we faced a chef, it took six out of six rerolls. Let's hope today's chef is not quite that good. This could actually be scary. I mean, we could be facing three trees, a chef, a wizard, and a star, and a second star. I mean, that's the reason he's got four, uh, 14 players and not 16, I guess. We're not getting anything, and he gets 640k. So Deep Root is 300, Chef is 100, so that's four. Yeah, so that doesn't leave you with that much. If you want a wizard. I think Puggy is something like 140, and Zara is a bit more than that. He could dip into his own treasury. This could be interesting. Kislev are definitely vulnerable to uh, the chef. So, a chef, deep root. Deep root is a plus strength block treeman. Yeah, he goes for uh, for puggy. So no, it's uh, it's quite okay. Monty's underdogs. Well. I hope so. Deep Root, Buggy. Deep Root is actually a really nice model. It has a uh, a bird's nest in its head, and I think there's a lumberjack axe embedded in the uh, in the trunk somewhere. We lost the toss. Chef takes two, okay, that's uh, not as bad as last time, but still above average. We are defending. How about we do not put our super blitzers in the exposed spots there? Let's see. So we need to put someone on the line that I'd rather not let it be the wrestler, I suppose. Rookie blitzer exposed or a garter? Are exposed. <coughs> so the five players we are able to protect well are our Wrestle Blitzer with plus strength, Dodge Catcher with plus movement, Agility Lino, Rookie Blitzer. Yeah, I think this makes some sense. <sighs> Not that we fear the Blitz that much, but. Alright, alright. We're facing a wizard. We only have 11 players. We're facing 16 players. And, you know, they have the three Treemen. 
So let's have a look at Puggy here. Yeah, Blodge and Nerves of Steel. And plus Strength as a Halfling. And Deep Root is a block um, plus Strength tree. Also, Deep Root does not have Take Root. So that makes him quite reliable. Yeah, oh, it's a saw, not a lumberjack axe. See that? I love that little detail. We do have Kick, and he's placed very, very far back with only a single dude. So let's chuck it. Th oh, bad. Or could be bad. Extra reroll for the flings. Oh, no, it's actually a good kick. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. One, two, three, four, five. There's an all the way over there. The thing is, if the halflings need to move for backward a lot, so that puts a lot of distance between them and the trees, which, you know, don't tend to move that much. Because speed is actually one of the halflings' bigger weaknesses. All right, first punch is survived. That's nice. Yeah, defaulted user is potentially going to gain a lot of star player points here, but he's also a really, really big target. Now, Sky chose to use the only tree who has block against the guy who has wrestle. This is not punished. No, wait, that's not that's not him. That's the uh, the fling standing behind him. This is Deep Root. My bad. My bad. So, Deep Root does this thing as well. Doesn't need the assist because strength seven. Oh, and a KO. Well, that's uh, acceptable, I suppose. I guess he can blitz with Puggy if he wants. Sidestep and jump up, huh? Goes for the pickup, makes it. That's a bit unfortunate. Now this is a sure feed guy, so he could get up to here in the next turn, two, four, five. Yeah, fair enough. Sure feed actually helping out quite a bit there. Six rerolls for the flings. Two, three, four, five, six. We'd have to make one GFI with the bear to get there. <coughs> Is that worth it? I think so. Not right now, though. Right now we're doing that. Can't really assist from here unless I bring him. Or do we just want to go for the two die? Yeah, I think that's all right. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six. He had to get out the way anyway. He can be here. He can be here. So let's see, do I want to bring in an extra assist? Yeah, he's probably going to want to come down the other side. Yeah, I think this is all right. Let's three die it, just to be sure. Oh, one of those is good. KO will do for now. I mean, I'm not going to cut through all of his bench that fast, and I mostly want to keep this guy safe here. Right. Is that worth a GFI? Can I protect it with my plus strength dude? Not ideal either. Uh, would I blitz that? Yeah, I blitz that. Would I blitz this? Less likely, I guess. Let's see if we can do this. GFI from the bear to get next to two flings. Yeah, that's good. Um, I 
provide some backup. Let's see how this goes. So center is very open, but flanks are working. Which does give me axis potentially. So Puggy isn't carrying right now. That's good, I suppose. Blitz from the non-loner tree. Ah, just a push. Good. Kind of expected him to blitz the bear or the strength four. But I guess he's scared of the GFI from, uh, from Deep Root, maybe. No bribes, at least, so that's something. So if we um, if we focus on the ball and ignore the guys out here, let's see, where's it gonna go? Two, four, five, six, seven. So it kind of has to be. Is he gonna hand off and chuck it already? Ah, oh, fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, so far so good. Six, six, five. Deep Roots can step forward and throw. Now, of course, Strong Arm makes this only a 2+, plus, but it's still not easy to reroll because Loner. Personally, I would have probably prefer to Blitz with Deep Root and throw with a another one. Then again, he could have Oh, wow, he makes it just like that. Can't quite reach, though. Can't quite reach. Now, I didn't really set up much in the back, but my tackler can still reach a bunch of places. Mm, my dodge guy can reach a bunch of places. Uh, oh, <laughs> run away, run away. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. It would have been really funny if he tripped on this one. Alright, so let's see Prehensile Tail and Diving Tackle do anything. Nice, nice. That was cute. That's nice. So could we make the three die, the two die go into a three die on the follow up? Yes, we could if we were willing to stick him in there. Then we'd also have to stick someone on here, which is not awful, I guess. So let's see. Does the bear do something good on its three die? Yes, it does, because it's got block. Awesome. Just a stun so far. And, um... Yeah, um, do we want to do this jump at block first? Kind of do, don't we? Just to get him off his off the ground. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, we can get another punch, but only if we follow this. Am I willing to do that? Not right now. So I'm going to go and stay put. This blitzer can jump for the ball. We have two rerolls, so let's make sure we make that leap. There we go. Now, this is only two dice, but because of the garter and my strength four, this one's three dice. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use Wrestle, which is not ideal, especially in a spot like that. Ball goes into two tackle zones. That's slightly annoying. And I got in my own way a little bit. So how about we keep you in the back to, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. No, here's fine. Just to make sure we can blitz someone who gets thrown. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Just picking up the ball would be pretty sweet. And we can leave this for after that. Because I think I can just stay there if I pick it up. And I can blitz deep root, block deep root free and blitz that. I'd have to get back out. Let's see. Mm, that's one GFI to go there. Now we're going to try it. Fill the pickup. Not re-rolling that right there. That's a bad bounce. There's a lot of better spots than that. And this leaves us very, very connected. Just the way he likes it. Now there is a bit of strength going. Oh, actually, this is kind of a good bounce. Because the... If he blocks the tree free, he still can't blitz from this side. He does have... Yeah, the the bat, the worst thing right now is that I don't have my diving tackle next to the ball or anything. That's kind of annoying. That'll change soon, though. I did free up uh, Gregory Pekka here. That's a one die because of this guard. Hooray for guard. That's a two die, but with the two GFIs, that's a lot to ask from uh, from a stunty. Uh, sorry, from a loner. Could do it with two dodges and one GFI. So yeah, this could be worse. Ooh, first block is a one-die success from Puggy. Brave, brave little goblin. Um, hobbit. And here's a two-die, so now he can do the pick-up. He could even throw it, but he's in a tackle zone. Hmm. No, he can block that free if he wants to, yeah. So we're going to see another throw then. Because Deep Root is now throwing on a 2+, plus, so he needs a 3, 3, 2, 4, and uh, stuff. Yeah, making the roll so far. Oh, well, that's uh, not a bad time for a root. Merely getting pushed so far. Hmm. Eh. So, another throw. Exciting. Let's see Gregory fall to his face, shall we? You can do it, Deep Root. Squash that little halfling. Throw teammates good enough. And the scatters say... Oh, that looks far. Oh, and he makes it too. Yay! Such excitement! KO doesn't matter. This KO does matter. So, we're facing a wizard, we're facing a lot of flings. And is it worth stalling? I don't think so. I think I'm better off trying to score relatively uh, quickly. He's not putting Puggy on the line, is he? Uh, 
Uh, he threw twice. The first time he didn't get far enough and he ran back. Then I made a sack but failed to pick up. And then he did another pick up, handoff, throw, land and score. Yes. <coughs> All right, so we pick a flank. Yeah, I kind of have to have to kill this little shit, don't I? So say does mean I'm basically giving up my tackler for some pain. This is deep root, so let's not block him down. Let's block him down. Um, I think so. Yes, Waynefair. I do think I would. Actually, let's pick up with not the economists. So this is going to be the side we focus on. I think I'm okay with something like this to begin with. Now he does of course still have the wizard. Quick snap. Alright. Uh, I don't really feel the need to change much here. Oh, I can actually dive and catch this one. That's kind of cool. Um, do I want to punch that fling? Sure I do. Does it have sidestep? Yes it does, so I might have to blitz it as well. Let's bring you in here then. Yeah, this works. Oh, it's not optional? Weird. Alright. All right. So let's start with punching Puggy. How is good, not following. Well, that was worth it. Let's hope my, uh, my uh, super tackler survives. Two, four, six... So how about we play that guy? How about we try that again with another three die? Pows are good. Pows are nice. Pows are my friends. Right. Uh, we still have one more movement, so we can go here, which would let me bring in, let's see, can this guy reach that? That's kind of cool. Let's see this three die then. Oh, that's not a pal. All right. Fair enough. So, we can sort of protect this. I'd rather be here then. We can sort of cover this just a little bit. Let's see if we can take down the tree. No, we cannot. That's annoying. That's uh, a uh, disappointment. Both down would have been good enough there. But this might hurt defaulted user just, just, just a little bit. It's not like I need him for this matchup or anything. 
Yeah, I mean, getting a hit on Puggy was a calculated chance, but that he did uh, he did force me to uh, risk my, without a doubt, most important player in this matchup. Push. Okay. Live. Doesn't have dodge yet, despite 54 star player points. Be okay, be okay, be okay. No, KO is not okay. No, I think he will actually, I think he may have been baiting me to do just this. So, no tackle then. Bear's pretty stuck. Yeah. yeah, that's not good. This guy can go relatively far because sure feet. No, wait, that's not sure feet. This is sure feet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, the odds of removal were a bit better, but. Yeah. If he comes back, then this was an okayish trade. Against a uh, a rookie fling, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have done that. So it's a it's a fair enough bait. Oh, bear goes down. No. No. Don't do that. Liger stunned. Right. So. Suppose you just keep this tree busy. Suppose we get three dice on there. That's not a pal. For a three die. Yes, good. If I go here, two, three, four, could he surf? Yes, he could. Would I in his shoes? Probably not. Two, four, six, eight. Mm hmm That's still fireballable. There then. Stunning! <sighs> Could be a wizard time. If he goes for the surf, it will be so awesome. It would be really, really cool. <clears throat> Don't think he will, but no. Bolt works. Catcher, who's also my scoring threat right now, is out of the game. Bounce is next to only a single diving tackle, but still not trivial to blitz off, so that's interesting. One, two, three, yeah, that nah, could work, could work. Oh, one die instead, 
Brave, brave little hobbitses. Oh, one die works. Ish. Still pushes me next to the ball or onto the ball. Which makes retrieval kinda kinda iffy, doesn't it? Onto the ball it is. No way. The one bounce that works for him. Oh! Oh! That's That's good. I like that. That's way better. Yeah. Ooh, indeed. Okay, another one goes down. Oh, squirrel dude's gone. No, squirrel dude, he'll be back. Just not this game. <sighs> Bad angle to frenzy him into. But it's the best I'm gonna get. To die on the Agility 4 makes a lot of sense. If I'm to do retrieval plays, then he'll want to make that hard. Ooh, would I reroll that if I were him? He's got six of them, might as well. Yep, fair call. At least not the Economist is not as impressed. This is just a push. Is he going to make this half die? Yes, he is. That's brave. Hmm. After already re-rolling, I think a skull would hurt him more than simply staying there. Yeah. Right, so we start off with this block. The garter isn't going to go closer, really. Pows are good. Pows are nice. Pows are my friends. He got uh, two from the chef and uh, one from a kickoff event. He started off with three of his own. Okay. That's another decent spot, I guess. So what we can do is we can... If we blitz this, it's still not out the way. That's annoying, because the Thanks, mate. full. Hey, thank you, Tilly, for the resub. Unless we go down the side one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 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 and then pass or something. That could work. That could work. So, we blitz this one away. Yeah, fair enough, not a pow. The bear goes into the square that uh, uh, the Jelly 4 vacates if everything goes according to plan. That's why he hasn't moved yet. Okay, leap's good, pickup's good. Three plus pass, don't intercept. Doesn't intercept, does pass, does catch. Woo, that's nice. That's very nice. So now we can get the tail on the side stepper here. Oh, 
Where would we like him to be? I guess uh, that direction works. <coughs> okay. Okay, that worked. Let's get off this tree as well. Oh, and off our feet, apparently. But armor 8 holds. That's nice. Yes, well, with flings, the chef is kind of, uh, kind of a given. Especially when they have 600k. So if we score on turn 6... We leave him with 2 turns to score. We do have kick... Yeah, we do have kick. Hmm. Might just want to actually stall this then, if we can. The snipe is a miss and a stun. Alright. Worth a shot, right? Then again, if we score early, we get more chances at KOs, but we also set up more dudes. Do I think I can get a steal against him in two turns? That's really the tricky thing, isn't it? He can get a one die really easily, but he's going to have a hard time getting two because of uh, diving tackle here. Yeah. One die is a push. Oh, re-rolled into a pow. Bad, 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 bad. Art, art. You're letting me down, man. Letting me down. Oh, bounce is nice, though. This is not a sure feet one. Ooh, this is not a sure feet one. Where does the ball go? The ball goes quite all right, actually. Tough one to stall, but... So... You get up. You get there. We're going to want to three die that guy. That's not a pow. That's not a pow either, but at least I've got him on my diving tackle. We're going to want to get him forward here, I guess. I'm willing to make this 3 die with the crocs. Ah, that's good. That'll do. Nice! Well done, Liger! Awesome. Bear power! That's actually the sidestep jump up guy. So that's uh, it's not a bad one. I mean, insofar as there's such a thing as not a bad fling. And we scored without using a reroll. And we used up his wizard, but we give him a couple of turns. Interesting. It's a proxy gore, Wayne. Okay, one fling stays out, that doesn't matter. My KOs are way more relevant, and they're all good! Whew! Alright. So, guard guy's gonna have to take the place of the wrestle guy. Um, Deep kick. Deep kick for sure. He's got two turns though. I would have preferred giving him one. Or none. Yeah. If we get another steal, this looks good. If um, the bash is, well, okay ish, but. You know, he's gotten deep bench, so it's going to take a while to really take an effect. Whereas for me, every removal was uh, painful. But, well, we got 
two and a half out. But he had 16 to begin with. Oh, why is this happening again? My monitor acting up like that. I don't like this one bit. Holy shit, that's a bad kick. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Can he reach that? Oh, close enough. Can he reach that with just pushing? That helps a little bit. Nice, nice. Ah, huge blitz, really, this. Right, so he can still go there. Keep that busy. He can go there. Do we keep him in the back just in case of oh, bullshit? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. There, that works. Ah, <sighs> gonna have to troubleshoot that. So either we dodge or we leap. We also need a GFI, but only one. Yeah, I'd say we leap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't do that. Snaked. Fuck. Oh, damnation. I only needed one GFI because diving catch would have let me catch it right there. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. Let me see if I plug everything okay because apparently stuff is acting up. Oh, sorry, I muted myself apparently. My bad. So, here goes then. Now, this is going to be a throw from a tackle zone unless he manages to blitz something away, which he can't really. So, it's going to be a 3 plus throw, a 4 plus landing. He's still got his reroll though. 
Let's juice it for the pickup or the catch. Oh, he doesn't. I guess he doesn't want to give me the chance to score on my drive or something. Do we still have wrestle or block anywhere? Yeah, the wrestler can reach that with a single GFI. Even push him into the tackler if need be. Alright, alright. We can still do this. We've still got two turns after this. One dice everywhere. Just a push. Blitz action. Yeah, so now I can't push him into the tackle. Can't get a three die either, really. I mean, I could push him into the tackle, but two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, can't, because I'm minus movement on this guy. So that's a bit sad. Let's see how the bear performs here. The bear performs disappointingly. So it would be one GFI for the sack, two more for just throw from there so I need to commit all three to getting punched even then removing them is trivial-ish no not really not really okay got one Suppose we do commit that. Now we have him here. And there. And there. I make this to die first. Yeah, I make this to die first. That still helps. Is this a scoring threat? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it is. Okay, here comes the jump. The jump is good. GFI for the sack. GFI is good, but the sack itself is bad. Let's try that again. GFI for the sack is bad. We're going to reroll that for sure. GFI is good. And the sack is also good. Nice, nice. Let's put it next to another diving tackle because we can. Yeah, that's an okay spot, I suppose. Yeah. Dare I risk trying to pick that up? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's a scoring threat. He's not. Two, four, six, eight. Could be, if we really wanted him to. Yeah, let's try it. Two plus jump. Oh, pickup's bad. Bounce is crucial, though. Oh, that's a bad bounce. That's a bad bounce. Nope, not good. Not good. Not good. That's what we were... That's what we were worried about. Bouncing away from the diving tackle. That's why I considered just not going for that score. Oh. <sighs> Okay. 
Five plus dodge, one die, push. Oh, no, a skull first. That's nice. So the reroll's gone. That helps a little bit. They're warm enough now. Actually starting to get warm in here. So now it's another one die with a GFI. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So. We get to punch a lot. Ah, it's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do not get scored against. That's very good. Let's see about the three die first. Three die is splendid. Thank you. If we do this as a two die, this becomes three. That's nice. And then we blitz here and throw to him in there. I think that works. Actually, we can three die this already. That sounds like a plan. Pals are good. Pals are nice. Pals are my friends. Still making this one, of course. Because blocks are also my friend in this mashup. The one turn I can pile on safely, but it is not needed. Defaulted user is racking up the star player points, though. Oh yeah, armor six, so good. So, you blitz, click, wait, click blitz, yes. Punch that guy. One, don't have block yet. Don't follow. There then. So this would be two, three, three, I think. Two, three, three. Two, three. And the catch! Oh, would have skilled him too! So sad! Oh well, one, one we'll have to do. At least we got some good punches going, so his deep bench is indeed not as deep as it was before. Oh. Wizard's out, Bench is largely out. Those guys are back. Let's see how the Chef does second half, that might matter. Oh, the Chef does even better! Yep, 10 versus 10. And we're receiving. Um, the first half uh, of this game, I only lost two. Do I still want to go for that? I think I do. So then again, that's one less, one fewer. Let's see. I kind of want to score with art. Four, six, 
so. Yeah, that works. One from here. Three trees does hurt, especially when you don't have a jelly four and you don't have a bench. Well, you have very little jelly four and you don't have a bench. Yeah, three trees is potentially very, very scary. <coughs> but things are looking uh, looking okay so far, actually. Deep kick, not what we wanted to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'd have to be somewhere like there. Let's see if we can punch this. That'll do. Oh, got another one. Wow. Doing good business, this guy. Two, four, six, seven. There. So that's this side covered. Am I? No, no. Because flings being thrown back there is annoying. So, two die on the tree. This time it works. Splendid. That lets you go, say, here. And how about you go... Say there. Nope. Fine. Don't go there. No more wizard to face, at least. So that's something. I only have strength two on my ball carrier, but at least I have dodge now. So that makes him a little bit less scary. And of course, the biggest problem the flings have is there. Well, also weak and also low armor, but they're also slow. Not quite the biggest problem, maybe. They do make really nice projectiles. Here's the snipe attempt. Oh, he got me! <laughs> nice! That's really cool. I love that. <laughs> Oh, that is glorious. That is just epic. So, tree doesn't bother getting up right now. I really, really love those plays. Four, five, six. GFI for a two plus, three plus, which is pretty scary because, you know, only one reroll. Oh, well, he's got no rerolls for it. Then again, he also wants to do something around the ball, right? Yeah, it doesn't reroll the roots. Okay. Yeah, let's not take the route that goes by the bear. That makes a lot of sense. That 
was interesting. Wait, did he already reroll something before? Uh, now I'm confused. Right. We could blitz with the bear. He rerolled the stand up. Okay. I missed that. Thank you. Blitzing with the bear has the downside that if it fails, it doesn't do anything. That works. I'll do. No armor break. This is actually the kind of situation where I might be tempted. Yeah, let's pile on. No, we still failed. All right. Oh, and that. Speaking of failures, how do I switch views again? See? Yes. See. Then again, we really don't want to waste a... There either. Bear does fine. Bear does mediocrely. Let's see how much movement we have left. Hey, Liger! Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, this guy is stunned. This guy's not that relevant, so yeah, we can set up for a three guy there. 2 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus. If we fail to pick up there and we use a reroll, yes, we do. And then we hide somewhere else. Alright, so. Here. Hmm. So we take a little bit more slow, make sure we get safe fish. This one's rooted, this one's down. Let's just be here for now then. Three die. Pals are nice. Okay. I guess he's hired. Hmm, Apple says no. So, then we have another one here, and another POW. Nice, nice. He's kind of running out of dudes, isn't he? Yeah. Armor 6 and Stunty kicking in hard here. That's a full cast box. It is a bloodbath. <clears throat> Absolutely. And once you run out of flings, the, uh, the whole trees are slow problem just gets worse. Uh, it doesn't help that he's using them like ammo all the time. Oh, did he just hit my player? Did he just hit my prone tackler? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he hit my prone tackle player. And that, if that had been a removal, that would have been really, really nice. Oh, that's two diving tackles. So, sure, I will. Mm, doesn't bother him. Half die. Half die. Both down. Reroll? Nah, at least he got the ball down. Not me, though. Didn't get me. I don't have any flings to punch. That's just mean. That's just nasty. 
Right, so Deep Root can, can, doesn't have, uh, does have movement to, that's not what we're blitzing, is it? So let's say we get the bear on this guy. Yes, we do. We get... Oh, he did actually stun me, didn't he? Hmm. Get you on that guy and the ball. So we're not blitzing them. You out there. Let's see if... Oh, I should really pass with him, shouldn't I? Because he's on 15. Or on 14, that will put him on 15. One more pass to get there. And this guy is on... 3. Nope, failed it. Oh well. Alas. I think he deserved a little bit better than this. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Ah oh man, I'm gonna miss out on skilling my new blitzer. Ah, damn shame. They should really have a uh, a button that says disconnect. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll buy the two star player point, dude. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so he's already uh, already said in chat. Your snipes were fun. Uh, I teach. Mo well, my my background is in uh, cognitive neuroscience. So how the brain does the mind. Um, I've taught uh, history of psychology recently. I'm teaching um, the experimental methods in cognitive neuroscience soon. I've taught some some neurochemistry, uh, a course, an elective on perception, action, and decision making. I've created two courses of my own: one on um, decision making in the brain, and the other on um, developmental cognitive neuroscience. So, yeah, um, how the brain does the mind, pretty much. Right, I'm, um, I'm going to end things here. I, okay, it's interesting that Dode is there, but I'm sure he'd poke me if he were actually looking for a conversation on stream, right? Uh, he'd be here too. Alright, uh, thanks a lot for watching, this was, um, this was a pleasure. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.